Welcome back to the second part of my character kit bashing tutorial series. In the first video, I introduced you to the concept of character kit bashing. We learned how to set up an asset pack and put together a basic character. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you about armature stitching. Armature stitching is a process of taking segments from multiple character rigs that are incompatible and merging them together. Without armature stitching, we would have to weight paint each separate element of our character, which could take several hours to complete. By reusing weight paint information from multiple rigs, we can reduce the amount of time needed to weight paint our meshes significantly. Before we start, we're going to delete the full character arm, and then select the head and the arms. Press M and create a new collection. Call it Human Skin. And then press hide and move it somewhere out of the way. We now have four armatures belonging to four pieces of mesh and we only want one armature. So how do we fix this? Let's click on the torso and take a look at what armature it is using. We can check this by going to our modify properties. We can see that this one belongs to item clothing r2 arm. Click on that and pull it out. The bones for this armature only extend to the boundaries of the mesh itself. So what are we going to do? First, we're going to find the armature with the most complete bone set. Let's start searching by clicking on the hands armature first. Drag it across. We can see that this one is missing its legs. Let's go back and take a look at the other one. Drag it across. This one is missing its lower arm, so we won't use it. Let's take a look at this one. Now this is pretty good, but it's missing its hands. Let's select the armature for the hands. In the object properties, set everything to zero to collapse the meshes on top of each other. Then in edit mode, we're going to select all of the bones that we don't need. Right click and delete the selected bones. Now we have an armature for just the hands. Select the armature that we want this to be merged to and then right click and join. We're not done yet. If we hide these gloves and then select this armature, and then go to pose mode. When we start to move his shoulder bone, we can see that the hands are not moving. That's because the bones in the hand have not been parented to the bones in the arm. Go to edit mode and zoom in on the wrist bones. Select them both. And then select this elbow bone. Then right click, parent, make, keep offset. If we go back to pose mode, and select the shoulder bone and move it, we can see that the hand is connected to the armature properly. We are now going to repeat this action for the other arm. Go into edit mode, then select both the wrist bones, and then select the elbow, right click, parent, make, keep offset. Let's test it. Now that we have this completed armature, we have no need for these two extra armatures. Delete both of them. Select the torso section and set its properties to zero, so everything gets centered. We can also unhide the gloves now. To make the armature more identifiable in the outliner, double click on it and rename it to Main Armature. Select all our meshes and parent them to the armature. Now when we move them, they will follow. Let's stop for a minute and talk about how armatures work. Armatures are made up of bones. These bones correspond to different pieces of weight paint information within the meshes. And this is what allows the meshes to flex and warp when the armature's bones are rotated. We can find the weight paint information by selecting the mesh and going to the object data properties. Now, if we select this armature and go to pose mode and move it, we can see that nothing is moving. And that's because we haven't applied an armature modifier to the mesh. Reselect the torso and go over to the modifiers tab. The armature modifier is already applied but it hasn't been assigned to an armature yet. Click on the object tab and select main armature. Select the armature and then go to pose mode. Select a bone and move it. The mesh will now flex. Instead of clicking on all the meshes individually and applying the armature manually, we will select everything. Make sure that the object with the correct armature modifier is highlighted in yellow. Then hit Ctrl L. In the menu, click Copy Modifier and that will copy the modifier to all the objects that make up the character. And we should now be able to move everything correctly in pose mode. This concludes part two of my character kit bashing tutorial series. I hope you find these tutorials useful.
In part three, I'll be introducing you to weight painting, which will allow you to add additional items to your character.